Hi, I'm Peter Christie, Director of Education and Outreach for Ballet West. Our outreach and education programs reach across the entire state of Utah, reaching nearly 100,000 individuals. As we adapt to these changing times, we're pleased to bring our Senior Steps program to you virtually online. Please enjoy these classes. I am so happy we finally got this up and running for you so we can keep you moving and take some class. Um, I need you to find a place in your house. Your kitchen cabinet is a good place. A chair, if you have a chair, you go on one side of the chair. I'll be mirroring you, so I'll always face you just like in class. So you'll start and then we'll switch to the other side. You can turn the chair around and switch to the other side. Now, if you have a light chair, you might want to weight it with some heavy books or something so that when you grab onto it, it doesn't do that. Um, so uh, your kitchen cabinet is a really good place because it's solid and just make sure you have enough room so that you don't kick into anything or you know kick or you have so, lots of uh, room around you so that when you go to the side and to the back you won't smack your foot on anything in your kitchen or wherever you are. Maybe you're on your table, you know, a table, a kitchen table that's a hard surface, surface that's just about the right height for, as a ballet bar. We're pitch hitting, we'll do the best we can, right? I'm lucky enough my husband made me this beautiful dance studio and I have our little ballet bar here. So um, I did start in my kitchen, but I moved up here. Um, so remember that you can pause, stop, or rewind this video at any time. We're gonna make these warm-up videos first. They're only gonna be 10 to 15 minutes-ish. I will make one and Trisha will have one up on the site as well. We'll send out all that information so you can access it. It'll be labeled, so um, it'll say like Riverton or Draper class or Mill Creek class, so you kind of know what level you've been going to so that you can stay in a safe place for you. If it ever gets too fast or it's too slow, just switch around and look at other classes. So we're gonna try and get as many up as we can really quick. <laughs> so let's, um, what else? Um, at the end, I'll tell you. So if you have any questions, please email um, education at valleywest.org and then that's, uh, they'll pass any questions or any comments you have on to me. And those of you that had my email, you are welcome to email me anytime you want. And so first we're gonna start at the bar and stretch, and then we're gonna end this, will be the end of this video, and then we'll post a 30 minute class. So they're not gonna be an hour class, they'll just be 30 minutes, but um, we'll have enough of them where you could do like an hour class once we get them up and running, okay? So let's start. Grab onto your place that you've decided is a safe, strong place for you to stretch. Stand away from it so that you can extend your arms and straighten your legs and then you're gonna hang over halfway and you're gonna engage your core and you're gonna lift your right heel off the floor, push into your toes, lift your tailbone up, engage your core and stretch your foot. One, two, switch it, one. Two, switch it, one. Two, switch it, one. Two, one more time, one. Two, and one. Two, lift both heels, engage your core, hold it, straighten your legs, and roll down slowly, and demi-plie, and lift, and straighten, roll it down. Reverse it, elevate, plie, drop your heels, and straighten and hold it there. From your tailbone, start to curl under, rounding your back. Two, three, four, until you get your chin to your chest. Six, seven, eight, and then dive down and through. And try to do a little arch to look up. And again, engage your core. Two, rounding your back, rolling through your spine, pull your shoulders down, six, seven, chin to your chest, and now while you're there, just kind of lift up, move around on it, lift up out of your hip, stretch through that side body, back to neutral, and then dive it down, and a little arch up, and a neutral spine, and roll it up, and step your 
right into the bar or into wherever you are. Okay, and make sure your feet are parallel and you're going to lunge, engage, lift up, and then you're going to lift and lower the back heel. Lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower. Straighten your front leg, go over halfway and hold it. Two, three, four, and now we're going to go all the way over the leg, but you can still hang on with one hand or you don't have to let go at all. Or if you feel comfortable, you can let go and come all the way over the leg. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and lunge and roll up. And then again, maybe slide that back foot out a little farther, lunge again. Engage your core, pull your shoulders down, straighten your leg, go over halfway, two, three, four, continue over the leg, two, three, four, five, six, and we're going to stay there, and then we're going to flex the toe up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, put the toe down, lunge, and roll up, and step into the bar, change to do left leg forward, right leg back. Nice and straight, parallel forward, engage your core, lift up, and lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower, one more lift and lower, straighten the front leg, go over halfway, two, three, four, either stay, maybe one hand on the bar, let go and stretch, maybe both hands can come down, six, seven, eight, and grab the bar, lunge, and roll it up, and one more time, lunge into it, and now we're going to straighten, both legs are straight, engage your core, shoulders down, go over halfway for four, two, three, Four, continue over the leg. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Flex the toe up for eight. One, two, three, four. This arm can be on the bar. Six, seven, eight, and lunge and roll up. And step into the bar. Shake out your legs. Shake it out a little bit. I'm going to face you so you can see what I'm doing, but you can still stay facing wherever you are. So we're going to go into your second parallel. Okay, engage your core. We're just going to go over and we're going to reach our left to the right leg and stretch. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then we're going to swing over to that left leg and stretch over, two, three, four, remember you don't have to let go of wherever you're holding on, six, seven, eight, one more count through the center, two, three, pull it down, engage your core, pull your shoulders down, six, seven, eight, grab over where you're holding, or just roll it up, and come into parallel. And one more time, go over halfway, and then continue over the legs, parallel. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and demi-plie, and straighten. Again, demi-plie, and straighten. Roll it up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and shake everything out. Getting those hamstrings and everything warmed up. And now we're gonna roll our shoulders. So just stand comfortably and roll your shoulders. And try to keep your elbows straight so it makes your shoulders work. And five, six, seven, reverse it. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one shoulder, roll it, and two, 
and three and four, reverse it forward and six and seven and eight and both flex your hands, squeeze it up, two, press it down, two, squeeze it up, two, press it down, two, and let's take our arms all the way up, extend up to the ceiling, look up, engage your core, open it up, and look forward and bring your arms down, and shake it out a little bit, and then let's take our head and go front and back. Here we go. Front and back and front and back and five, six, seven, eight, side, side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold it there, reach through that opposite arm. Maybe take this arm up. Don't pull, but just let your hand stay there. Just a little extra stretch. Reach through it, release that arm. Look down to your shoulder, and then look up to the ceiling, down to the floor. Up to the ceiling, down to the floor. One more, up to the ceiling, down to the floor, and slowly swing it to the other side. Turn for the ear, so the ear's facing the shoulder. Reach, pull down in that shoulder, reach through that arm. This arm comes up, hand gently on the head, just to have that little extra pressure, not a lot. Don't pull, don't push, and let go. And look to the shoulder, and nod yes. Up and down, and up and down, and five, six, seven, Hold it down and swing it to the right, and swing it to the left, and swing it to the right, and swing it to the left, and all the way around, two, three, four, big circles, stretching out all those corners of your neck, let it stretch, six, seven, eight, and switch it other way, two, three, four, down and around, big, huge circle. Take your time, stop in any spot that needs a little extra stretch. If your neck is tight there, you can just stop, let it stretch, come back down, chin down, and then lift it up, shake everything out. And my personal favorite for you, I will never forget, chicken head, here we go. Chicken head, so you're pushing your neck forward, forward, chin, forward, six, seven, and then we pull it backwards. Backwards, two, three, four, five, super attractive, seven, eight, and relax everything. Okay, so it should be nice and warm, right? We'll do maybe a, a few more little extra stretches before we start, but just make sure that you're warm. Maybe you have a stretch, a favorite stretch you like to do. We rarely get on the floor, but some of you like that, so you know to extend on the floor, straighten your legs and hang over, maybe like straddle over. Um, so for now, we're not gonna do any floor, floor work. I know some of you are like jumping for joy. <laughs> so, but we might. So let's just make sure you're warm before you start the class. So then you'll, this video will end and you will start the class and it'll be labeled. So it'll say like Mill Creek one or two or whatever. I'm gonna try and get two or three videos up, maybe four if we're lucky. And um, remember to email education at balletwest.org if you will have any comments or you wanna say anything or just give a shout out. But just know that we're gonna keep doing this. We're gonna keep working together and um, I'm visualizing all of you and it just makes me really happy. So I miss you and I love you and we'll just keep, we'll get through this because we're gonna dance, we're gonna dance through this. So, okay, enjoy and now we're gonna do a class video.